hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video it will have quite a bit of cleaning motivation i will have some new products i want to show you and also i have some organization of my linen closet all will be done in my master bathroom and of course a diy i wouldn't be troy unless i was showing y'all how to make something from nothing so i hope you stay tuned All right, y'all, let's look at all this shameful mess I got in here. Toothpicks that I should have been thrown away. Um, I've got some disinfectant wipes. I did a little bit of cleaning up throughout the week. Just some tidying up, not much. I gotta put that toilet tissue away that's been sitting there for a few days. And here is the real hot mess, my linen closet. So um, there was some organization when I first moved in, but it's just got pushed around, messed around. Um, I've got some boxes in here that I just haven't been using to the best of my ability. These drawers where I've just been throwing stuff, housing like items, but it's not working y'all. So we just gonna get straight to it and we're just gonna clean it all up today. Let's start off with my products. Now, this is nothing new. I've got this glass cleaner from the dollar store, Ajax with bleach, because I mean, it just works. It's worked for years. Let's keep on using it. These disinfectant wipes and Kaboom is a new product that I found and I've really been loving it. So right now I'm just gonna take all these things out of the shower because I have to um, spray the shower down first. I like the soap to sit on it a little bit before I get to scrubbing. So I'm just gonna go in first with the Kaboom and just spray all the walls and just, you know, the bed of the tub and all that good stuff. Um, I believe that this is a bath fitters type of um, situation on my bathroom. Um, I, I'm just, it just leads me to believe the way it feels, the way it touches is that the previous owners did something of that nature. Um, with more time as we roll on, I'll probably, you know, make real tile there. But for now, it's going to do. And I'm just gonna do my toilet the same. I'm just gonna spray all in it, let it sit. I'm probably gonna sprinkle some Ajax in here and just let it sit a little bit as I clean the vanity since that is the most simplest thing to wipe down. I am gonna start off with uh, cleaning the mirror as well as the mirror that is on the medicine cabinet. I am using an old holy sock. I just feel like it's just a good way not to waste things, especially paper towels, because I just don't like buying a ton of them if I don't have to. And this also saves me from putting, you know, socks in the trash can. There's a really good use for them. You just wash them and use them again. I do the same thing when I clean my car and stuff. But anyway, I'm just gonna get in here with this uh, foam cleaner. I really like the foam cleaners for the mirrors. It works so much better than the Windex, in my opinion. Um, it leaves the mirror without any streaks in it I am going to probably never use Windex again if I don't have to I just really love this product and I got it from the Dollar Tree y'all super super cheap
So now I'm grabbing the disinfectant wipes and I'm just gonna go around the whole vanity as well as the knobs on um, the faucet. And I am doing a little bit of dusting with this uh, disinfectant wipe too. Just getting the little corners, you know, the top part of the vanity that just is, you know, a little bit more TLC. So next you guys, I did wanna show you this scrub brush that I got from Amazer Bath and it is a company that sells their products on Amazon and um, they gifted me with quite a few things for the bathroom and I'm just really happy to work with them and I feel like all their products are really worth what they are asking for. I would not tell y'all any lies. I know that none of us have money trees. I don't want you to waste your money no more than I wanna waste mine. But um, this brush is abrasive on the dirt but it was not abrasive on my sink at all and it got the job done you know where there's just a little bit of gunk and a little bit of residue in between the faucet and where the caulking is and it really got in there and it cleaned very well also the fact that the handle is covered in rubber made it really comfortable for me to scrub and it was just really effective you guys So you guys, I got this really cool toilet brush and um, it has a, I don't know what to call it. There's the regular circle bristles at the bottom, but then there is a part that juts out in like a V angle that allows me to clean right up under the lip of the toilet, if you understand what I'm saying. And it gives a good scrub to some of those hard reach areas. So I really enjoyed that as well. And it really cleaned the toilet effectively. Um, I don't have an aversion to toilets, but I just didn't really get a close up because I just felt like who wants to see where people dump their business? I just, I just didn't think it'd be a great idea to get a close up of it, but it did clean really good, you guys. Of course, by letting the product sit on it, it's was more effective, but the brush really did a good job as well. Right now, I'm just going in with the disinfectant wipes and just uh, wiping the toilet seat down. There was a little bit of residue from uh, the disinfectant wipes, so I'm just drying it off a little bit here with the toilet tissue. So now I'm gonna start on the tub. Um, I felt that all of the product has set long enough. I'm starting with the shower head and the Amazer brush that I showed you all earlier. I'm just going in with that and just trying to scrub all the soap residue and all the scum that has built up off of it. And here I am jumping up to scrub the walls. Um, if you all have not checked out the channel, Kay Renee, you all should go check her out. I love her channel, but um, she's so sweet. She always says I'm fun size. She never says I'm short. And I think that's the sweetest way to put it. <laughs>
Now that I've gave the tub a good scrub, I'm just going to rinse it out with the shower head here. Um, just, you know, getting my fun size self up there to do what needs to be done to get all the walls, you know, rinsed down and stuff like that. And also rinsing off my bath mat because I gave that a good scrub as well. Um, here's another product by Amazer Bath that I want to show you guys, which is just the squeegee. Now, what I really like about the squeegee that you aren't going to find from like the dollar store places is that it's lined in rubber. The other ones are plastic and it doesn't really give a good, um, it doesn't adhere to the uh, walls of the tub as well as this one does. And this one's pretty heavy duty. It's made out of metal. So it's gonna last a lot longer than the ones you find at like Walmart or the Dollar Tree too. So you guys, I'm done with the cleaning portion and you know, it's not really my channel unless there's a DIY involved. So um, what I want to show you guys is the pot um, right here on the screen. I'm going to put up a four shot. So what I did is I just, I've had this for years. I got it from the dollar store and the only thing I did was put some um, coking around it and I just let it dry for um, a day and then I went and I used the... Um, rocky spray paint which will be in the description box or in a picture somewhere here and i just went over that with a couple of coats and then after that i put on the clear coat the sealer and this is what i have i just wanted it to be really neutral i know my entire house is uh like the farmhouse style but for my bathroom I don't know. I just wanted something super plain, super simple. I just wanted it to feel clean in here, you know, not too many decor pieces, a little bit of greenery, and um, that's it. I didn't want a whole bunch involved in here. So, you guys, here is my um, little uh, planter pot, and I picked up some uh, greenery from Walmart. I've got some uh, fern picks. They were about $3.00. And then I've got this little rosemary pick. Just I just thought it would go good and make it a little bit fuller, just something a little bit different, give it a different type of texture. So I'm just gonna pop these into my little uh, DIY planter over here and it'll be my little bit of greenery for the bathroom. Don't get around, but there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say so here I'm just showing you guys really quick these new canisters that I got for the bathroom, a soap pump, and a holder for the toothbrushes. The bottom half is cloudy and the top half is clear. And I think they're about five bucks a piece at Walmart and they're plastic, you know, they're not glass or anything that, so they can withstand some falls and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to situate them here just to see what looks better. So you guys, I'm just going to finish up the cleaning portion by just mopping here. My bathroom is super small, so it didn't take any time at all. And 
and Little Miss Rosie is gonna make an appearance and follow me right on out. I did purchase a brand new rug as well from Walmart. It's the Better Homes and Gardens um, brand. And I just wanted something new and fresh in the bathroom. So I just bought it. It was really inexpensive, about 10 bucks. I think I'm gonna go back and grab me another one. And so that completed the cleaning portion of the video. Now on to decluttering, you guys. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you any better angles. As I said, my bathroom is extremely small. Um, so I'm just, you know, you can see me on the side, just tossing a lot of things out. Um, I'm not exactly going to throw things away. I don't have a lot of decluttering to do, but a lot more organization that I need to do. So I'm just gonna check everything out that I can, just wipe the shelf down briefly, and then just try to go back in and organize things in a way that, you know, makes sense. It's not, you know, cluttered and have everything have a place. So now I'm just refolding, well, re-rolling my uh, comforters and quilts. Um, they were up top at the very top of the uh, linen closet where I had to climb and get them. But I thought, since I do, you know, wash my linen about a week and a half, you know, all the time, that it makes more sense for them to be lower. And even though they're a bit bulky, um, if I just roll them tighter, I believe that I can conserve more space. Um, I'm also putting. Um, what are those? Uh, the curtains that were at the very bottom. I'm going to switch them and put them at the very top because I don't switch out my curtains very often. Um, probably twice, you know, two times a year if I'm feeling like I want, you know, a different color. Um, very rarely since I don't really change, you know, my throw pillows on my bed or anything like that. So I don't change the curtains often. So those go up top because they're rarely used. So you guys, I just want to give you a quick look of what I did so far, nothing too big. Um, I just rolled these um, uh, quilts down here tight. These are, you know, my um, some summertime uh, blankets. Uh, they're not all mine. Um, they're some of my, the blue one is for um, my kids. The gray one, that is ours. And so is the uh, this little tan one over here. But these other two are for the uh, kids' bed. Um, poor Koi is my daughter. Blue for the boys um, in the summer months so they don't have that huge um, comforter on their bed. Just something light, a quilt. Um, these dollar store fabric bins that I got just for some organization. And they're, you know, cost effective. I'm not even going to pretend like they're super sturdy and all that stuff. They're a dollar and they get the job done. They're not very sturdy, but they do house like items. They'll last a long time if you're storing things like toilet tissue, but if you wanna put heavier items in there, nah, they're not gonna last too long. Um, this chef, this shelf is purely decorative. Um, I mean, it's useful. I need, you know, the uh, cotton rounds and the uh, Q-tips, but um, I'm gonna change out the soap um, I think I'm actually going to use that soap and when I'm done using it, then I will fill it up with white soaps. Um, and then going up to the next shelf, this is uh, needs to be refolded, which I'm going to do right now as soon as I put the camera down. Um, these are pillowcases and then these are just, you know, bottom sheets for my bed. This is just some random orange pillowcase that went with a, a set I had a long time ago and did throw that out. Um, and then on the very top, I've got, um, here, let me see if I can adjust the camera. Okay, that's better. And then on the very top, this angle works. Um, what I've got on this side are um, for the shower, shower curtains that interchange out, you know, when I wash one. Um, these two are very high hanging. Um, they're super long, like 80 
four inches, but the other one is regular. But anyway, those are just some neutral um, shower curtains for when I gotta clean my white one. And uh, these are just curtains that throughout the seasons that I change. Um, a couple of them are probably not useful since, you know, moving from house to house, y'all know us military family, all windows aren't the same, you know? So even if you want to save your curtains and things like that, sometimes it's it's unreasonable. It just creates clutter because the next house you move into doesn't have windows that size or, you know, the windows are bigger or they're longer. Y'all know how it goes. So that is what I've got done so far. We are about halfway through and I'm going to go on and finish it up. So you guys, another product that I was gifted um, by Amazer Bath was these uh, towels, and they are huge. I don't want, they're not like beach towel length, but they're pretty darn big. I'm really trying to give you guys a good look being in um, my little itty bitty bathroom. It's really difficult, but um, I really like the texture of them. They're 100% cotton, of course. They're super soft and they're super big. And they all really like that spa, like, I guess, you know, the more thread count, I guess the softer it is because there's more. So I do believe it's uh, similar to that, but it is that luxurious feel, super soft. Um, as you all saw in the clip before, um, I did already wash and bleach them. So um, I think it came in a pack of four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang up two for decor. And then I'll just put two in the linen closet to go with the rest of my white linen. So you guys, here I am finally finished. Um, here's the top shelf. I put my iron up here. I don't use it often just for special occasions or when my husband has, you know, his class A uniform that needs to be taken care of, we iron things. Um, on this shelf here, I've got my sheets as well as my pillowcases. This came to be just a um, shelf just to place a couple items on. It's merely decorative. Um, I'm so grateful for the extra space. I did not want to fill it in. I just feel like if things are completely filled to the top, then it's time to declutter. You should always have space for, you know, purchasing things. Um, this little uh, square here was for the towels and the second one for the toilet tissue. And also I have a, um, here would be, this box is for like back stock, extra things, shampoo, conditioner, extra toothbrushes, um, mouthwash, that type of stuff. I just, uh, yeah, cute tips here. I just grabbed out of there my uh, facial peel. I put it in the wrong bin. I'm gonna stick it over here in this one, which is where I keep all of my uh, self-care products, things for my face, my uh, CNR face cleaner, as you see right there on the side, fingernail polishes, the little pedicure set back there in the corner. And I also have, um, this is also the space where I put my face mask and things like that. So I'm really happy how everything turned out. Definitely effective. I'm glad that I still have space to buy things and to grow. It was definitely a labor, but it was worth all of it. So you guys, we are here at the end of my video. I wanna thank you so much for sticking with me. I also hope that you got some motivation through my decluttering, my organization, as well as cleaning the bathroom. I also would like to thank Amazer Bath for collaborating with me with their effective cleaning products. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.